coming up in this episode of Japan. Today we're going to learn all about onigiri, the famous Japanese rice-based snack. Ah, uh, 違います Really? Okay, maybe next time. However, if you happen to like or dislike onigiri, why not at least learn how to say this in Japanese? And, of course, learn how you can practice this skill over the next few days until you master it. Before we begin this lesson, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to this channel if you wish to continue to enjoy more fun Japanese lessons in the future. And with that said, let's now take a look at the phrase structure of how to state what you like or dislike in Japanese. As you can see, it all starts by first stating the subject, such as he, she, I, or even someone's name, such as Chisa-chan. Next up comes the particle wa, as always, used to mark the main subject within a sentence. And now is the fun part, the object that you either like or dislike. Let's stick with onigiri in this case. Next up comes the ga particle, which is used instead of the classic wa particle, when marking an object that you either like or dislike. And finally, the main component of this phrase is stating whether or not you like or dislike the object mentioned, which Brings us to an important side note. To say you like something, suki desu. To say you dislike something, kirai desu. And with that out of the way, in this example, let's use suki, meaning to like, as I very much like onigiri. And finally, to end this statement, we will now use the sentence enter des to complete it, as des should always be used to end a statement politely in Japanese. One side note here. When stating whether or not you, as the subject, like or dislike something, in Japanese you can omit the subject I in that case. This is very common in Japanese and you're going to see this in action in the coming examples to further clarify. Now that you have mastered the vocabulary and the structure of the phrase to state whether you like or dislike something, let's now move on and practice this throughout an example of each to clarify. Phrase 1 Manga ga suki desu. I like manga. Manga ga suki desu. As mentioned before, notice how the subject of the sentence I is omitted here. Aside from this change, as you can see, this phrase follows the exact same structure as we had just covered. Object, ga, like, des. Very easy, yet very useful. Let's now move on to the next example where we will state what we don't like. Kaeru san wa manga ga kirai desu. Kaeru san wa manga ga kirai desu. Kyle hates manga. Before I explain this phrase, I just want to mention that this example is for educational purposes only. I actually do like manga. Now that that's all cleared up, notice how compared to the previous example, this phrase includes the subject Kyle, as Chisa was talking about me and not herself, so no omission needed here. Again, this phrase follows the exact same structure as explained. The only unique thing here is the use of kirai, meaning to dislike rather than ski, meaning to like. So there you have it, how to state what you like or dislike in Japanese. If you wish to truly master this content, then here's how I suggest that you practice this stuff. Write out three things that you interact with on a daily basis that you like and dislike. Make sure to use the phrase taught in this lesson whenever you interact with these objects to state whether or not you like or dislike them. That's it, nice and easy. To help you achieve this, I recommend downloading and using the Japan worksheets we provide to practice writing out the new vocabulary, your custom phrases, and triggers of when and how you can use them to set up your week for success. Now before we end this lesson, here are a few bonus insights from a native Japanese speaker to help you take this all even further. Aside from using ski or kirai, are there any other words that Japanese commonly use to state whether or not they like or dislike something? Daisuki desu. Meaning, I love it, or I love something. To say dislike something, suki ja nai desu, or suki dewa nai desu. How strong is kirai when saying that you don't like something? Is this polite to use? Kirai is the same as to hating in English. So it's pretty strong. You wouldn't probably say, oh, I hate this, and uh, Polite way, like you, it can't. It's hard to be polite when you use the word. Thanks for joining us in this lesson at Japan. 
Now keep in mind, I'm still a student of Japanese, Chisa is the master, so please forgive my pronunciations along the way. I'm doing the best I can here. Now, if you'd like to continue learning Japanese with us, I suggest that you subscribe to this channel so you won't miss out on any future videos. Also, if you have any further questions, feel free to leave them below and we'll get back to you as fast as possible. Arigatou gozaimasu for joining us in this video and we look forward to seeing you in the next one.